Have you ever wondered what happens when a fighter jet breaks the sound barrier? Now to understand this, we first need to grasp the nature of sound waves. Picture this. When an object makes noise, it sends out sound waves in all directions. These waves travel through the air at a certain speed, which we commonly know as the speed of sound. Now imagine an object moving so quickly that it's keeping up with the very sound waves it's producing. That's where the concept of the sound barrier comes into play. It's not an actual barrier, but rather a threshold, a sort of speed limit for sound. When an object, say a fighter jet, travels at the speed of sound, it's said to be at the sound barrier. As it pushes to go faster to outpace its own sound waves, it's attempting to break this barrier. So when an aircraft exceeds the speed of sound, it is said to have broken the sound barrier. Now what does it mean for a fighter jet to break this so-called sound barrier? Let's dive in. Breaking the sound barrier refers to the moment an aircraft accelerates to a speed faster than the speed of sound. This is also known as supersonic speed, which is roughly 768 miles per hour at sea level. So how does a fighter jet reach these blistering speeds? It's all about the engine power and the design of the aircraft. Fighter jets have powerful engines that can produce enough thrust to accelerate beyond the speed of sound, and their streamlined design reduces air resistance, allowing them to slice through the atmosphere with ease. As the jet nears the speed of sound, something incredible happens. The air molecules in front of the jet can't move out of the way fast enough, which results in them being compressed into a shock wave. This shock wave is what we commonly refer to as a sonic boom. Here's where it gets interesting. As the jet breaks the sound barrier and enters the realm of supersonic speed, it doesn't just leave behind a sonic boom, it's continuously producing shock waves that trail behind it like the wake of a boat. This continuous shockwave production is why we hear a sonic boom when the jet is miles away. So in essence, breaking the sound barrier is like stepping into a different world of flight, a world governed by shockwaves and booms. This is why when a jet breaks the sound barrier, a loud boom can often be heard on the ground. But what impact does breaking the sound barrier have on us down on the ground? You see, when a fighter jet punches through the sound barrier, it creates a sonic boom. This is a shock wave that can be heard and often felt by those below. Imagine a sudden thunderous boom resonating through your neighborhood, shaking windows and startling pets. That's the power of a sonic boom. It's no surprise then that this can cause noise disturbance and potentially even damage in some cases. And it's not just about the noise. The shock wave from a sonic boom can also cause minor structural damage to buildings, such as cracked windows or plaster. While this isn't common, it's certainly a possibility, especially if the jet is flying low. Because of these impacts, there are indeed laws and restrictions around breaking the sound barrier over populated areas. Regulations vary by country, but in many places supersonic flight is prohibited over land except in special circumstances or designated areas. These laws are in place to protect the public from the potential negative effects of sonic booms. So when a fighter jet breaks the sound barrier, it's not just a feat of aviation. It's a carefully considered action with the potential impact on the public and the surrounding environment taken into account. So while it's a thrilling feat of aviation, breaking the sound barrier isn't something that's taken lightly. What are some examples of aircraft that can reach these supersonic speeds? Well, let's dive into the realm of extraordinary engineering marvels. The iconic Concorde, a symbol of innovation and luxury, was one of the few commercial airliners capable of breaking the sound barrier, reaching speeds over twice the speed of sound. On the military front, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, a single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter, has been a mainstay of the United States Air Force and other air forces worldwide. It's a machine designed to push the limits. Then we have the SR-71 Blackbird, a long-range, high-altitude, strategic reconnaissance aircraft that holds the record for the fastest speed ever recorded by an air-breathing manned aircraft. Again, well over twice the speed of sound. These incredible machines remind us of the amazing things humans are capable of when we push the boundaries of what's possible. So what happens when a fighter jet breaks the sound barrier? Let's recap. We've learned about the concept of the sound barrier and how a jet breaks it, zooming into supersonic speeds. 
We've touched on the sonic boom, that thunderous sound that follows, and its effects on the public. We've also looked at the laws and restrictions in place to manage these effects. Breaking the sound barrier is a testament to human ingenuity and the remarkable capabilities of modern aircraft.